The first drug consumption rooms have been given the green light in Scotland, where users will be able to take illegal substances in what's deemed to be a safe space. The facility will open in Glasgow, and the Home Office earlier said it wouldn't stand in the way of the pilot scheme. Well, despite recording the lowest number of deaths since 2017, more than 1,000 people in Scotland still died last year as a result of drug misuse. I mean, Scotland continues to have the highest rate of drug deaths in, in Europe, uh, recording almost three times the number of deaths per million in the population than the UK as a whole. Men are twice as likely as women to die from drug-related deaths, though the data from 2022 suggests that gap is narrowing. Glasgow City Region is the worst affected by drug deaths in the country, with a clear link between deprivation and the fatal misuse of substances. Well, our Scotland correspondent, Connor Gillis, joins us now from uh, Glasgow. And, and Connor, I'm really interested in, in this. Is the aim in order to prevent people dying from taking the drugs in a sort of unsanitary or, or dangerous way, or is it to try and entice them in to then offer them help to get them off the drugs in the medium term? I think it's a mix of all of those options that you outlined there, because let's remember, you've just told us how many people have lost their lives here in Scotland. It is the epicentre of Europe's drugs death uh, crisis, the emergency that has engulfed uh, this country for a great many years, countless lives lost uh, because of a stubborn addiction to these illegal substances. And governments, uh, politicians, organisations, charities, everyone involved in the war against drugs here in Scotland have failed to get a grip on this for so many years uh, because they have been trying to uh, set up this safe drug consumption room. Uh, let's remember this idea was first touted in 2016. Since then, we've had five prime ministers, we've had two first ministers, and we have had more than 7,000 lives lost. And all the while, uh, this has been a political issue. The Home Office has not uh, given special dispensation for this to go ahead because it says it infringes on UK-wide uh, drugs misuse policy. And it has suggested all along that the Scottish Government could go its own way and uh, potentially prosecutors here in Scotland could tweak uh, the laws to try and allow this to go ahead. Well, that is not happening. But what did change in the last few weeks is Scotland's most senior prosecutor came out with a pretty bold statement after years of discussion and political wrangling and said that it would not be in the public interest to prosecute people who use this facility. So in the last few minutes, authorities here in Europe's drug death capital of Glasgow have given the go-ahead for this facility to go ahead and it will be inside the building just behind me. What will happen in there? Well, it will be an area where addicts will come off the streets here. We know there are roughly four or five hundred people uh, injecting in public places. So instead of doing it in the streets where I am just now, they will go inside that facility with the drugs that they have themselves. They will present themselves at the reception area. And from there on in, they will be guided into eight injecting bays, sterile uh, clinical areas watched over by NHS and council employees, health professionals on standby uh, to have that moment of clearly control around their taking of those illegal drugs. Uh, then they will be guided through to a rest area and on hand will be housing and social officers who will be able to provide those wraparound services and try clearly uh, to get these people on the straight and narrow. But critically here, the difference is that people will not be prosecuted. The Lord Advocate, who's the most senior prosecutor in Scotland, has made it clear that she will not prosecute people uh, from uh, taking drugs within this building behind me here. So it will be a very tricky time ahead. How will this work in practice? How will the police manage this as well? Because they've made it clear that they will still continue to prosecute crime when they see it and arrest people while they are broadly supportive of this. There will potentially be stumbling blocks in the coming uh, months and years. But this is a big moment on the war on drugs here in Scotland.